Texas teachers have made it clear they want lawmakers to grant them a raise this session, but House Speaker Dade Phelan says instead prioritize something else, teacher mentorships. Fox 4's Lori Brown live with what that bill would do exactly. Lori. Steve, while the announcement by House Speaker Dade Phelan about his priorities could spell the end of any debate about sizable teacher raises in the House, SMU political scientist Matthew Wilson says that the Senate might now tackle that issue while the House addresses another way to solve the teacher shortage. The House will come in order. Thursday afternoon, a bill to address the teacher shortage in Texas, HB 11, prioritized by House Speaker Dade Phelan, was referred to the Public Education Committee. Well, this follows through on some work that was done by a task force of teachers who studied the of what could help retain uh, teachers in Texas, because one of the real problems the state has faced is teacher attrition. That is, a lot of people who go into the field don't stay for a long time. To solve the exodus of teachers, the bill looks to provide funding for teacher mentorship programs and free pre-K for children of teachers. People immediately jump to the issue of pay, and pay is certainly part of it, particularly in a competitive job market, and raising the minimum teacher pay will be part of this bill. But it's more than just pay. Teaching is not an easy thing thing to do. Classroom management and that instruction is a real challenge. SMU political science professor Matthew Wilson explains as a legislative priority, the way is now paid for the mentorship bill success, while a separate bill focused on large raises has more of a roadblock. HB 1548 called for across the board $15,000 raises for teachers and 25% raises for support staff. It is a red flag for that in the sense that uh, this would raise entry level teacher pay, it would raise the minimums, but HB 11 is not an across the board teacher raise. And so uh, if I were a public school teacher in Texas, I would say, this is all well and good, but don't lose sight of the priority of raising teacher salaries across the board. The bill would look to raise the state's minimum salary for a teacher, which is now $34,000. Uh, particularly in the big urban areas, pay significantly more than that. But some of the small rural Texas districts are still bringing people in at around that minimum. And this will have the biggest impact in raising those entry level salaries for, for teachers in some of those rural districts. Phelan also steered clear of some of the governor's education priorities like school choice vouchers. Wilson says that the Senate might also tackle that issue, which tends to have more of an appetite for contentious issues.